I remember the first time I pressed the blade against my wrist. I was crying over my first breakup with a boy. I had always felt like an outsider, but with him, everything felt right, even me. But now, I was back to being an outcast. I remember running to the bathroom, tears running down my cheeks. I sat down on the cold floor and stared at the cabinet door. The next minute, I was holding a razor blade in my hand and pressing it against my wrist. I kept telling myself I wouldn't do it. I was too chicken. It wasn't until I noticed the four red lines that I realized I wasn't so chicken after all. My mom was downstairs. I didn't want her to know what I did. I tried washing off the blood, but blood kept coming. I wrapped toilet paper around my wrist and held it until I stopped the bleeding. My whole body felt numb, except for my wrist. It was burning. For a couple days, I had to wear bracelets and jackets to cover the scabs. My mom asked, why are you wearing a jacket in the house? I said, I'm cold. I'll always regret that day. It seems like it'll never go away, not even when I'm older. It'll always just be in the back of my head, waiting for me to reach a low point. Once I do, it'll come back and mock me, reminding me just how weak I can become. My second time, I guess I got a little smarter, even though it really isn't smart to hurt yourself. I did it on my right thigh. I ended up with eight scars. I decided that on my thigh, it'd be easier to hide. It was, but every time I put on pants, it burned. I couldn't wear shorts for a long time. My parents knew nothing. How could I tell them? Being an only child is a lot of pressure. How would it feel to find out the person you called mine is self-inflicting? Not good, I'm assuming. I've never hidden anything important from my parents. I told them everything. After a year had passed without me relapsing, I confessed. I'll never forget the look my mother had as she drove down Miami Lakes. Why? I figured she would ask me that, but even knowing she would, I still didn't know how to answer. I stayed quiet. At the time, I was starting high school. My freshman year was hectic, but I met some people I'll cherish forever. My best friend was one of the first people I met in the school. She understood me. I was feeling better. Still, one day, I came home after a normal day of school. Zero problems, zero drama. That night, I relapsed. I ended with 12 scars on my right thigh. I don't know what caused me to relapse, especially that day. I hadn't been depressed in a while, so why? The first thing I did was limp to my mom's room and cry. She stood in shock. Once again, she asked, why? And again, I didn't know how to respond. The following day, I showed my best friend. She didn't seem that shocked. A week later, I got called down to the school counselor. She had told on me. I was so furious. Why would she steal my secret? I thought she was my best friend. Fuck that. The counselor called my mom. When they told her what had happened, I knew I would have to face my parents again. The counselor recommended therapy. I guess you could say I was one of those kids who thought therapy was only for crazy people or people with problems. I didn't know why I would need therapy. I thought I could deal with this on my own. I was forced to go to therapy every Friday at 5 o'clock. I saw it as a waste of time until one Friday, I just broke down on her couch. I couldn't stop crying. I kept thinking, what's wrong with me? That day, I realized I had hurt myself much more than I thought. I still had the scars on my leg, and every time I looked at them, I cried. Why did I do this to myself? Was it worth it? Did it help me at all? The therapist said it was like a sort of high. In order to escape, the pain I was subconsciously suffering, my mind would go for something else. In my case, cutting. She said cutting was like an addiction. Now, I realized that boy wasn't worth those scars. And even though therapy brought out different emotions in me, anger, guilt, depression, and frustration, it also opened a new door. One that helped me realize I don't need a razor to feel better. Now, I know that door will always be open for me if ever I need